Join us on YouTube Live every Friday night at 9 p.m. We'll have weekly topics. This week will be hydronics, followed by a Q&A session. So come join us for this family-friendly event and bring your ideas. Please share them and look forward to it. Point of no return today. I'm pulling out the last VRF variable refrigerant flow at 8 coil today. I'm going to replace it with this. This is a, a four-ton hydronic coil, and so there will be no more refrigerants in the house. This is, a, again, the constant pursuit of doing everything with water. So we'll be able to heat and cool our house with water. been heating it with water for 12 years, and that includes our domestic water. Now we're going to take out the refrigerant A coil and add this baby to it. So we're going to be uh, just swapping it out and have to probably do a little sheet metal work and to make the transition gives them my break and shear so let's uh, get ripping and tearing better get this done because we have no air conditioning and Lori's gonna kill me again um, this is uh, the hydronic we took the the refrigerant a coil out and put the new one in got fittings ready to go to hook it to the chiller and we made it work and kind of use the existing uh, pans looks a little rough but it looks like it's going to fit so let's get it in the air handler apparently this coil fit pretty it's a little bit smaller than the other one but it should work fine fits in the drain pan got a little stand so the front supported and i don't see any gaps we should have a pretty pretty good uh hopefully pretty good flow no loss very little loss and it will cool this again is the cooling coil I've got a the hot coil we put in years ago on the wood boiler side so this is just on the on the cooling we should be fine okay and here is my Calmac ice bank thermal storage tank I'm going to be using for the cold water and then I'm going to try to use my central boiler 400 gallon storage tank that's very well insulated for my hot water storage side so I'm combining two different hydronic systems so this is part one, trying to basically convert my home over to a hydronically based uh, heated and cooled home. So I want to do everything with water. So that's been my goal for a long time. If you've been watching my channel for several years, you know that I'm kind of uh, obsessed with water. Well, now it's gotten even worse. Now I want to be able to heat and cool my house with water and no refrigerants will be in the house and um, so I just think that it's awesome. You know, water is still the gold standard for heat transfer. has some amazing properties we'll get into as we talk about it. And here's just a drawing of a possible way that I'm going to loop this and put this uh, chiller in and connect it to storage. I will also have a similar loop for the heat side. So there's a cold, cold loop and a heat loop and the chiller can do simultaneous heating and cooling it can also do cooling alone and heating alone and then I also have my wood boiler um, for just heating so and I've got a lot of temperature changes here the wood boiler produces water that's much hotter and not a, not allowed in the plumbing I'm going to be using for the the chiller I'm going to also be adding some fan coils uh, wall mounted units in the upstairs of my house so there's some other loops that aren't shown in this drawing I'm trying to do it with the minimal amount of power that is in circulating pump power and energy and of course I'm trying to run this off of solar so this is uh, part one I'm learning a lot um, I am uh, relying on uh, channels like coffee with Kalefi um, they have uh, great YouTube videos on hydronics also relying heavily on Siggy uh, this is John Sigenthaler and his information he puts out on hydronics. He's also from my alma mater um, RPI, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, so I've had been able to talk to John just base frequently, not frequently, I wish I could, um, but I did speak with him and introduce myself and um, tell him, told him what, what, what we were up to. So anyway, stay tuned. There will be many parts to this. It's probably going to be in a hydronics playlist as I 
um, build and learn and try to produce ice off the sun and heat and cool and um, not try to waste any energy and go geothermal in my well and just all the controls that go along with this so um, there are probably some bloopers and some mistakes but it is going to be awesome when I can make ice off the sun.